Woohoo! Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm really loud and I have a mic, so y'all are in trouble. So pay attention. You ready? Everybody ready? We are going to dive into Instagram. Now, uh, I really want this to be as interactive as possible. There is a quiz. So, you know, I was a former third grade teacher. So there has to be a quiz. You realize that, right? So I'm going to quiz you on this. Uh, but first and foremost, she told you um, about who I, who I am, what I do. But the, the biggest thing that's important is my wife who uh, without my wife, there'd be no reason I'd even be here talking to you. My wife is amazing, definitely my better half. And of course, my son Enzo. Has anybody had the opportunity to meet Enzo? Uh, this is like, Enzo is like one of the coolest, funnest kids ever, and yes, I am biased, okay? So that's just the way it is, right? So Instagram, are you ready? I, I titled this Instagram for builders, all right? For, for everybody here is a, a builder rep, am I right in saying that? Raise your hand, everybody that's builder rep. You represent a builder. That's everybody in the room. Okay, great. Now, uh, be honest, raise your hand if you're scared of Instagram. Is anybody scared of Instagram? Okay, we got a couple, all right? All right, but not the builder reps, I like this. We got a couple over here that are scared. Now, as we go through this, I wanna make sure that I, 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 I talk you through exactly some of the things that can help take that anxiety away. Because Instagram is really, really easy, and uh, sometimes we think we can mess it up. So here's the agenda, but first, I, I just need you to know, if you wanna see what we do, right, here's a great thing to do, is you can follow me. Uh, you can follow uh, the Tomas Martinez, Luxury Home Magazine SA, and Luxury Home Magazine Austin. That's a really easy way, and it's okay, you can bring out your phone, you can do that right now, go ahead, it's okay. Okay, you don't, no one's gonna grab their phone? Look, you have the opportunity to grab their phone. You see how this is, Jenny? They have the opportunity to grab their phone. This is a good group. They're ready to learn. I love it. Now, I love this quote, and I share this whenever I talk about social media. And this is a great quote about social media. In a crowded marketplace, fitting in is a failure. In a busy marketplace, not standing out is the same as being invisible. And if you know Seth Godin, Seth Godin has written some amazing books about marketing. And the thing is, is that Instagram gives you the ability to stand out. As a builder rep, it can kind of get like, you're just, hey, well, I'm just a builder rep. I just represent this builder. But the beauty of Instagram is it gives you an opportunity to stand out in a crowded field. And so you have to use it properly. And I'm gonna show you some ways to actually do that. So the agenda today, now listen, I've got 20 minutes. Now I don't know if any of y'all have ever heard me speak, but 20 minutes, I'm gonna condense this three hour program into 20 minutes. So we're gonna really pack it, we're gonna really condense it down. Um, it's really not three hours, I was just kidding. It's about an hour. But we're gonna talk numbers, then we're gonna talk about 10Xing your post and how to take your post to the next level. By the way, anybody ever read that book, The 10X Rule? Raise your hand if you've read that book. More people need to be raising your hand. That is a great book. Read that book, 10X Rule. Instagram stories. Raise your hand if you know what an Instagram story is. Okay, that's not everybody. That's not everybody. Good. All right, raise your hand if you've heard of Linktree. Who has heard of Linktree? Three people. All right, one of them is a marketing person. All right, now, that, I love that. So with that knowledge... I'm going to spend a little bit more time on Linktree, fair enough? Knowing what I know about the room. So, let's dive right in, let's talk numbers. Here's what you need to know about Instagram. Billion active monthly users, 68% of the users worldwide are female. Does anybody know why that's important for you? Why is that important? Who's buying the houses? Mama's buying the house, all right? Okay, the ladies are coming in. They're buying the house. They're making a lot of these decisions. And guess where you're gonna have an opportunity to reach them? On Instagram. Uh, Instagram is used by 31% of American women, 24% of men, 100 million plus photos per day, 4.2 billion likes per day. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, okay, if there's that many photos, how do I stand out when there's that many photos, right? 
How am I going to actually stand out? I'm going to show you how to do that. Because if you post the location, this is where a lot of people miss. Location, location, location. Instagram, when you give the location, you hit 79% more engagement just by dropping the location of where you're at in that photo. Let me say it again, 79% more engagement. Do you think the ladies that are looking on Instagram, do you think that they're looking by location? Everybody, yes, the answer is yes. They're looking by location. So just by using location, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna increase engagement. Now, how many of you have put a post up and you're like, wow, nobody liked that post? <laughs> Anybody ever had that? Like, that was a really good post. And then you post a puppy and you get like 50 likes. So I, I, I did this beautiful kitchen and it got two likes and I put a puppy and it got a 50, right? So now we just gotta combine, just put a puppy by the kitchen. And you're good, you're golden, right? So last but not least, you need hashtags. Hashtags, hashtags, hashtags. At least one hashtag gets 12% more engagement. So hashtags and locations are critical to, your, uh, uh, to making sure that you get the most. Now, when it comes to 10Xing your post, when it comes to this, you need to do these things to make sure that your post gets the most engagement. So here's how you 10X. So if you want to get more likes, here's what you need to do. Number one, you need a good photo. Blurry photos don't do well, right? Dark photos, photos that don't really show detail, don't really do well. So you really want to get photos. Does, now, does that mean you need a digital SLR, three, uh, $600, $700 camera from Costco? Don't do it, you don't need it. Your phone can take amazing photos. You just need to be willing to make sure you have the eye to look, oh, that's gonna be a great photo, take the photo, okay? So you need to start with a great photo. Now, how many of us can take a photo? Raise your hand, can you take a photo? Everybody's hand should be up, everybody. Everybody's hand should be up. Everybody in here can take a great photo, right? You've heard of the filters, right? I mean, you can lay a filter over it and make it really look good. Number two, you need a caption. Do you know what a caption is, right? Everybody know what a caption is? What's a caption? Tell me, shout it out. Headline. It's a headline. What, what are you taking a picture of? Now you're a builder rep, what could you say? The beautiful kitchen in the Hawthorne uh, floor plan that I just learned about, that's 3,100 square foot, uh, one story, right? You could literally put that in the description and have that in your caption, right? You need to add location. Who could tell me why we need location? What did we learn? More engagement. More engagement. How much more engagement? 79. See, some of y'all are ready for the quiz. Some of y'all are paying attention. All right? Add location. Number four, you need to tag someone if possible. Now, I got I to do a disclaimer because some of y'all, y'all like to tag people that weren't really there. All right? And this is a problem. All right? I, 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 said this, I, I said this to a group, and I think they misunderstood. They've been tagging me in all their photos. Like, they're in Austin, and they're tagging me in the photo. I had people calling me going, hey, are you in Austin? I wanted, let's go do lunch. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not in Austin. I am not in Austin. Please make sure if you're going to tag somebody that they're actually either in the picture or they actually were with you. Can we all agree? Everybody say yes. Yeah, right, right? I can do that, right? But tagging people really helps what? Engagement. It increases engagement. Tagging is really important. Can you tag the builder? Absolutely. Can you tag the neighborhood? Raise your hand if you have neighborhood uh, Instagram. Does anybody have neighborhood Instagrams? Okay, I see three, four people have neighborhood Instagram. So if on your personal or your, you know, that business slash personal, you could tag the builder, you can tag the neighborhood. Really important to tag. Number five, you have to have that symbol. What's that symbol mean? It's a quiz. Okay, now I love this because I always ask this question. Are you ready? Is anybody still not sure what a hashtag is? Oh, I love it. 
thank you, mom, man, I'm, listen, I'm coming over there to give you a high five. I'm coming over here to give you a high five. Listen, somebody is not sure what a hashtag is. I just want to give him a high five. I appreciate you, my man. <laughs> high five. What's your name? Mark. Mark. Thank you, Mark. Mark, you're going to help more people out because they were shy. <laughs> they didn't want to raise their hand. You ready, Mark? So a hashtag, it was invented by a guy named Chris uh, and he was big on Twitter, but the problem was is that Twitter had so much information, you couldn't search it. And so he started using this little pound symbol, and in that pound, you were actually able to start querying the information. So when you put a hashtag, though, all of that information gets put, imagine buckets. So all of those photos go into a bucket with that hashtag. Now you'll see the power of this in a minute because if I put hashtag San Antonio, my picture now goes into a bucket with all the people using that hashtag. You think it's been used a lot? Oh yeah, it's been used a lot. But here's how it works. If your post starts doing really well, more people in San Antonio that search that hashtag get to see your post now. Instead of it just posting and just with a caption and a picture, now your picture gets put into that bucket. Hashtag San Antonio, hashtag one story home. Cause I'm hearing hashtag one story, that, but one story is a big deal, right? I've actually had two conversations that one story homes are really popular right now. Am I right? Right? So now as you, as you divide up those hashtags, what if I have six different hashtags? They get put into six different buckets. And now when people search, they'll find that hashtag. Do you know the beauty of Instagram is now you can follow hashtags. That's part of my bigger presentation, but I'm not, I don't have time to go into that. So I want you to imagine, do you think of, I think there's a hashtag that everybody in here needs to follow. Are you ready? Moving to San Antonio. You think anybody's used that? Yep. I doubt anybody in here is following that. Whether you be a lender, whether you're in uh, 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 security, whether, whatever you're doing, hashtag moving to San Antonio. I've looked it up, there are people using that hashtag. Now, if, that were, if I were in your business and I saw moving to San Antonio, you know what I would do? I would send them a DM. Y'all know what a DM is? Direct message, hi. I'm Tomas, I represent X Builder. I see you're moving to San Antonio. Okay, so hashtags have a power to separate the information so you can search it, and they give you the ability to reach more people. We good? That makes sense? Sweet, number six, and I appreciate that, Mark. Number six, link accounts. Last but not least, what I mean by this is, whenever I put an Instagram post, I make sure to post it also to my Facebook. I link them. So they're not just going to one spot. And it's super easy to do this. In fact, when you open up, when you get to that last page on LinkedIn or uh, on Instagram, it will say, hey, do you wanna share this on your Facebook? And what do we all wanna do? Yes, because now it's gonna be efficiency. You're doing two posts with one post. Super easy to do. And if you need more information about that, Follow me, send me a DM, I'll walk you through it, it's super easy. All right, now, you need to tell your story. Now, what do I mean by that? When it comes to stories, you have to learn how to tell your story. But I have something that I really wanna make sure you understand. There's a big but with this, all right? Has anybody here gotten nauseated watching someone's video like this? Anybody get like kinda, of, ooh, oh, okay, I, nope, go to the next story, right? When you watch really shaky video, it's not good. If you don't like it, guess what? Nobody else is gonna like it. You think the people moving, hashtag moving to San Antonio are gonna like your bouncy video. So do this for me, please. Do this for me. I want you to go get a selfie stick. Yes, I said it, get a selfie stick. It's $14 on Amazon. If you just shoot me a DM, I'll send you the link to go buy this. I don't make any money on this at all just so you know. 
at the Tomas Martinez. I will shoot you this. This is the one that my wife and I took to Italy. It has a stand. If you want to stand it up and talk in front of it, it's beautiful. It works perfectly. If you want to walk around with it, it extends out. It's beautiful. It works perfectly. Do y'all see the price? $14.99. Stop the shaky videos. Everybody say, I promise. I promise. Oh, man, y'all are, this is a tough crowd, okay? Listen, nobody wants to watch a shaky video. Trust me. Use a selfie stick. Is anybody already doing this? Thank you. And that's it. We got one person. It, it, <laughs> I love it. Everybody here, what are you going to do today? You're going to go buy this selfie stick, right? Because listen, stories. There are 400 million active users that are interacting on stories. Now, how many of you have seen a story before, right? You know what it is. Up here at the top of your Instagram, you see those little circles up there? You'll see that? When you do a story, your story shows up in a little red circle on top of everybody's Instagram. If they're following you, your little circle will stay up there. Right now, as you watch them, then the next one kind of moves over, moves over, moves over. Now, here's what you need to know about stories. They show up at the top. It's perfect for real estate because I'm going to tell you right now, videos are great. And Gabe and I, if you ever need a video, we do amazing videos, right? But here's the thing about video. Video is one of those things where typically they only watch anywhere from 15 below seconds and below. The average video time on Facebook is between seven to 10 seconds. So think about that. If you're looking at stories, how long is a story? Does anybody know? Anybody besides Jenny? Jenny knows, she knows. She's gonna come up here and blow you guys away here in a second. It's 15, they moved it up, right? So you've got 15 seconds, now think about it. How long is our attention span? 15 seconds is pretty good. If you get 15 seconds of, of, of my time on Instagram, that's pretty good, right? So all this will do will increase your exposure. Now, can you do the great thing about Instagram now is you can hold it down and do 15 seconds and it'll keep recording and do another 15 seconds and it'll keep recording. So you could walk through a house, not with your hand, right? Because what are we all going to do? We're going to get that selfie stick, right? We don't want any of these bouncy pictures, right? With movies. But it's faster content that shows up at the top of the Instagram, which is exactly what we want. So stories, 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 stories. Please make sure you're doing stories. Now, last but not least, I'm going to wrap up with this. <clears throat> Linktree. So have you ever noticed on Instagram, um, on your bio page, people say, go to the link in my bio, right? You see that a lot, right? Go to the link in my bio. Well, for most people, the link in, the bio, in their bio is usually a web page. What I'm going to recommend to you today is to get Linktree. Linktree is an ability to create a multi-link web page that is right from your Instagram that will go directly to a web page with all of your different links. It's beautiful. It's easy. And this is the website. Linktree, tr.ee, write that down, tr.ee. And what it looks like is this, when you go to the website, I can actually put in all of my links that I want people to go to. And then it looks like this. Now, most, for most of us, if you send them to a web page, what happens when people go to a web page? They get lost. It's too much information. And nine times out of 10, it's not mobile friendly. Linktree is mobile friendly. It literally is full screen and every one of those boxes is a link. Now, now think with me for a minute. Think about this for a second. I want you to imagine that you have, here's my, um, right here, you see my profile right here. This is my bio page, right? So walk with me a little bit. Let's say you go to my bio page. It's at Tom, the Tomas. You go to my bio page and then you click the link, you click link tree, and then this is what you're gonna see. Now, how easy is that to learn information about me? Now, 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 this is where it really gets good for a builder rep. 
What could every one of those be? They could be neighborhoods. If you have a builder, they could be neighborhoods. But if you're a building rep, what could they be? Available properties. What else? Amenities. Amenities. Features. Testimonials. Testimonials. I love it. That's a good one. What else? (laughs) Could it be a sign up? Could you do a new, run a newsletter for people to sign up for a newsletter? Because I'm going to tell you, one of, my wife, most of you don't know this, my wife was in new home sales. She was in new home sales for 10 years. One of the best things she did is one day she came home, she goes, I'm going to start a constant contact email and it's going to cost a lot of money because I have a lot of contacts. And I remember going, I don't know if that's a good idea. That sounds really expensive. She was sending out this monthly newsletter as a new home sales consultant and she was sending this out consistently, and that email would usually bring in one to two deals a month just from putting out good content in a newsletter. Now, how do, can you imagine if she had this back then? Instagram, did they didn't have this back then, where someone could go to her bio, just click the link and sign up for her newsletter to find out what's coming up next, what properties are coming on the market. This right here, the, the, the possibility with Linktree are absolutely endless. There's so much that you could do with this. Anybody have another idea that just popped up? Any other idea that popped up? We got testimonials. We got neighborhoods. Oh, the people that have already purchased and maybe get them signed up for something. Awesome. So what I have is on mine, I have, uh, we did a podcast with Josh Altman. Did anybody hear that podcast with Josh Altman? A few of you did? Yeah. Uh, we did a podcast with Josh. Um, you can win the book. I have a book contest going on with that that he signed. We did uh, TM3 uh, Impact, subscribe to iTunes, follow my Spotify, sign up for my email uh, podcast. My podcast is on video. You can click that. And then the audio, ver- I mean, literally Everything that anybody needs about me, they can go to that link tree and get anything. That's what you want to do for your bio using link tree. Now, here's the best part. Now, just to tell you full disclosure, link tree does not pay me anything. Link tree is free. There's no cost to it. They have a premium version. I don't, we don't even use a premium version. We don't even have the premium version and that's what you get. Super easy to do. So last but not least, remember I told you I have a quiz. Are you ready? Everybody get a piece of paper. Here's your quiz. Number one, question number one. Are you ready? Who are you going to follow after this presentation? Who are you going to follow? The Tomas Martinez. There you go. That's right. I want to thank you, Amy, uh, Dayton, your team. Really appreciate the opportunity, Grant, to be uh, speaking uh, for this, uh, the Breakfast of Champions. If you need any other questions, if you need me to come speak at your, uh, for your builders, I'd love to do that. I'd love to add value to your team. Thank you so much.